Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of full stack Java projects, we are in project one, that is book management system, developed using the technologies like JSP Bootstrap, Hibernate, and MySQL. Today, let us go with the last part of this project, where we are going to display the records present in the books table. So, what are the records present in this book table? Let me open that. Use project one db select star from book so these records we want to display onto our browser in tabular format that's a main step left out for us in this project so what we have seen in the last videos we have created this book web project using maven and we have added the project dependencies we have created the project class book with this properties id name and price and hibernate configuration xml file hibernate utility class then we have created the very important the business logic class book dao with the two methods save book and list books save book will take care of inserting this book object into your database table and list books is going to return the records present from books table from this book table what are the records present these records will be returned to us in the form of list book. And we have created the front end part in the last video that is add book, where we are able to accept the book ID, book name, and price. And whenever we click on this button save book, it's going to connect to savebook.jsp. In savebook.jsp, what are the data we are accepting from user? The book details we are storing into this book object using this uh, jsp colon using tag and whenever we call the method jsp colon set property it your book object will be ready with the values then by using this book dao we are invoking safe book and passing book object and this method will take care of inserting your complete object into the database table using persist method right and we have created one hyperlink where again it redirects to your add book.jsp when you click on this link add new book let me run this and show you let me run this right click and see run as run on server now fill the details let me go with uh, 104 learn angular book price some 560 now save book It's going to insert our book details into book table and displays the message book added successfully. So book added successfully. If you want to add one more book, you can click on this hyperlink, add new book. Let us go with one more, 105. Learn Hibernate. Book price, some 650. And when you say save book, the book will get added successfully. And you can check in your table. Select star from book, it's going to display the books here. Now, what is our major role today? I want to read all these records from book table and display this data, these records in tabular format onto our browser. So, for that, let us go to this add book and this one, save book. Let us go to save book and we have created one hyperlink where you are able to add the book new book let us create one more hyperlink let us create one more hyperlink over here under this ul in between ul tag let us create one more hyperlink I like class equal to nav item And here you create one hyperlink a class equal to nav link href equal to display books dot jsp and we go with the hyperlink as display books now see when we run this i click and say run as run and server see it's going to display one hyperlink 
display box now when you click on this hyperlink display box i want to display all the records present in your book table now so whenever we click on this hyperlink it should display the records to us in tabular format now let us create one jsp file display books.jsp so right click on your project and say new jsp file display books dot jsp take this content you can just take this content as it is come to this display book paste to the content over here so just we are referring to the bootstrap library that's the body tag now here what we need to do we need to we need to connect to the book table and we should be able to get the records from your book table and i want to show the data in tabular format now here let us go with the page directive import equal to java.util.star or list and here we go with com.book.dao.star so we are referring to the dao classes this book dao now we are importing these packages now in the script tag, just to say list book, list book, book list equal to book DAO dot list books. So when you call the method book DAO dot list books, it will go to this book DAO and it's going to invoke this method list books, which connects to your book table, pull out all the records from your table, and it's going to written in the form of list here so that list will be written so import even package for this book presenting com dot book dot entity entity package now this error will go now what are the book list we are getting we want to display in tabular format so for that let us create one division division class equal to container mt3 now create a table class equal to these are all bootstrap library classes so we are going with a table class equal to table table border so we want to draw the border lines for your table and table h over so these are the bootstrap properties what we are using the class properties go with the table heading table head class equal to table success class equal to table success create a table row in the first row we go with the table heading book id table heading book name table heading book price Now go with the T body, the table body. Here we want to traverse this book list. So go with the script attack and say for book B colon book list. We are we want to traverse this book list and display the object data in tabular format. So, so here out dot print align, create a table row, table data. And how to get the values b dot get book id invoking the getter methods b dot book id close your td open your td next we have to get b dot get book name 
close the TD. Go with one more TD. Then B dot get book price. Close the TD. And close your TR table two. So for every record, it's going to show the data in the form of a record here in a new row. So for every record, we are creating a new row. Then close your t-body, close your table. Now what we want to do, again, we want to go back to your add book. So you can just take this piece of code. And take this piece of code. Just we are creating one navigation. Just we are creating one navigation. So where we are going to redirect your where we are going to redirect your ad book. So just we are going to create one hyperlink. We are going to create one hyperlink that is add new book. When you click on this hyperlink, it's going to connect to adbook.jsp. Again, we can able to add the books. Right? And with semicolon, that's it. This completes our display book dot JSP. Let us run the application. From where we are to run the application, the welcome page, add book, right click and say run as, run and server. Fill the details. Like, let me say 107, book name, Learn HTML book price some 444 save book. Now see book added successfully. Now I want to display the books. So when you click on this hyperlink display books, it's going to show our book data in tabular format. See here, what are the book we have added just now? Learn HTML, it is displaying. Now if you click on this add new book, again, if you want to add one more book, you can add then several eggs. Book price some 555 save book. Now, if I say display books, see here you can see one more record over here. And if I click on hyperlink add new book, it goes to addbook.jsp where we can able to add one more record. Right? So that's about this project, a simple basic project where you are able to insert some data into table and we are able to pull out the data from table and display in tabular format onto our web browser. A simple basic project. Right. So in the next project, we'll do all the complete crude operations, inserting, updating, deleting, retrieving, all the crude operations we are going to do. And we are going to make use of Angular as the front end part that we do it in the next project. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.